Dragons, uh, welcome back. Today is Wednesday. It is August the 2nd, 2023. It's the second day of school. I am Mr. Butcher and I am glad that you are here. I hope that you've left your average at home or on the bus and you are ready to have a respectful and responsible day. Ready means being in the right place the right time with the right stuff. Respectful means treating others the way you want to be treated. And responsible means doing your job with a smile on your face and giving perfect effort. Being ready, being respectful, being responsible helps us keep you safe. And that's my job to keep you guys safe and your job is to help us. Speaking of responsibilities, our first responsibility is to be ready to show respect for the rights that we have in this country and at this school. We do this by daily saying the Pledge of Allegiance doing our school pledge, and doing our moment of silence. To show respect when we say the pledge, we stop what we're doing, we stand up tall, we put our hand over our hearts like this, we say the pledge loudly, clearly, and with pride. If you're in pre-K, kindergarten, or first grade, and you don't know the pledge, that's fine. Just listen and try your best and learn a little bit uh, more each and every day. If you're in uh, first, second, or third, fourth, or fifth grade, you should know this by now. But let's go ahead and stand for the pledge and remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I will be respectful of myself, my teachers, and all others I meet throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I'll work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Please reflect silently on your day, your activities, and what you hope to accomplish. Another responsibility that you guys have is to help keep us safe by slowing down the spread of germs. We can do this by frequently washing our hands. When we wash our hands, we really want to use soap and water, but if you don't have soap and water, you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. We at Kennedy use Germex, the official hand sanitizer of the Kennedy Dragons. When we do wash our hands, we want to get all parts of our hands, the palms of our hands, the backs of our hands, in between our fingers and our fingertips, our wrists and our thumbs, when we wash our hands, we want to do it for at least 20 seconds. Let's go ahead and wash our hands. So get the palms of your hands. Get the backs of your hands. Get the back of your other hand. Get in between your fingers. Get your fingertips. Get your other set of fingertips. Get your thumbs. Get your other thumb. Get your wrist and your other wrist. And now your hand should be nice and clean. All right, after we have done our, um, our washing our hands, done our pledges, done our moment of silence, it's time that we do our birthdays and get started with our day. Happy birthday today to Reagan Rogers, who is nine years old. Rena Dembuki, who is six years old. Uh, Renee Melen Melendez Canellas, who is six years old, and Bailey Damaro, who is five years old. Sometime this afternoon or sometime today, make sure you come by and get your birthday ribbon. Our next responsibility is to make our lunch choice. For lunch today, we're going to have beef and cheese nachos, lettuce and tomatoes, Tex Mex black beans, and salsa. There will also be sliced peaches. If you don't want beef and cheese nachos, you can always get PB&J or yogurt or muffin. But it's now time to make your lunch. All right, I have one announcement before we talk about our character strong uh, attribute of kindness with our kindness kickoff uh, this week. Uh, to one announcement is 
students that did the summer reading challenge the Kennedy 500 summer reading challenge please make sure that you turn in your uh, summer reading logs totaled up with your name and your teachers name on it turn those in by Friday we will try to get your um, buttons and gift certificates and if you got a t-shirt I know um, Liana Raymond got her it was the first person to get a t-shirt we will get those to you by the end of the week if not this week next week but make sure you get those turned in by Friday. once again this year we are doing character strong as a county and as the school character strong is a uh, social emotional learning program to help us focus on attributes that help us become better uh, humans and how to treat each other and be more successful. We're starting off with our character uh, strong kickoff, kindness kickoff, and yesterday we told you that kindness means acting with understanding, generosity, and care. Now I want you guys to watch this song and uh, listen to the song, watch the video. Uh, it's about two and a half minutes long and afterwards you can talk about what are some examples that you saw in the video of people showing kindness acting with understanding, generosity, and care. Hope you enjoy. Kindness is acting with understanding. Generosity and care is how we show we're there. And kindness is a muscle that gets stronger when you use it. And kindness is a choice that's easier the more you do it. The kinder you One more announcement before we sign off. Uh, this afternoon at 1.30, instead of Reader Warrior time, uh, we will be doing our um, drill seminar where we go over the different types of drills that we will have throughout the year. Fire drill, intruder drill, severe weather drill. So we will do that at 1.30. Teachers, I will get you that link and make sure you have it and we will watch that at 1.30 and then you guys can talk about the different drills before we dismiss. That is all the analysis I have for today. Thank you for helping me keep you safe uh, by being a ready, respectful, and responsible leader who's focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible leader, focus on graduation. You are boldly committed to student success. Have a great day. I love you very much. of the day. Today's read aloud is a letter from your teacher on the la on the 
uh, first day of school. Uh, it's written by Shannon Olson, and I'm going to be reading that to you guys today. Remember when I do read alouds, it's so that we can, uh, I can model for you guys what good readers do. Good readers read fluently, which means I read the words correctly at a good pace, not too fast, not too slow, and with expression. Uh, when I read, it's also a good time for you guys to practice what good readers do when they read a book, whether it's being read to them, like I'm doing this read aloud with you, or if they're reading to themselves. They listen for the characters, the who or what the story's about, the setting, where and when it takes place, the sequence of events, what happens first, next, and last, um, and then they want to make sure that they ask themselves questions. What just happened? Why did it just happen? How did it just happen? What do I think is going to happen next? So here we go with a letter from your teacher on the first day of school. Dear student, this is a little welcome note I want to share with you. Believe all that I'm about to say, because every word is true. There are a few important things I'd like for you to know. All throughout the school year, our relationship will grow. I cannot wait to get to know you and all the things that make you you. Do you play sports or like to draw? Maybe you do kung fu. I'll get to meet your family and hear the places you have been. I want to know your favorite subject and see the awards that you may win. I promise every morning to greet you with a smile. We'll give you high fives and hugs or fist bumps if that's your style. I will celebrate with you when you have exciting news. Like it's my dog's birthday. Or I got brand new shoes. I'm here so you can learn a lot of science, math, and reading. I'll help you with your writing and all those skills you'll be needing. But learning is not, a just, about, not just about the schoolwork that we do. Some values that I hope you'll gain are empathy and kindness, too. You can also be respectful by listening with your ears and eyes. Follow directions the first time and take good care of all your supplies. I want, to see, I want you to set high goals and persevere through any test. When it comes to working hard, I expect you'll try your very best. Some days will be a challenge. You may think, I just can't do it. Even when you cannot yet, I'm here to help you through it. I'm going to try to make you laugh and put a smile on your face. We'll make learning lots of fun. This is our happy place. I'm excited that you're here. Day by day, I hope you'll see. I love being your teacher, and you mean so much to me. Love, your teacher.